Welcome back. If you're just joining us, then you're right in time to catch up with the 2013 Miss Earth Beauty contestants. They're all here, 23 in number, and we'll be having them introduce themselves one by one as we start from our very right. My name is Resident Opin Bibo. I am Orchid. Thank you very much. All the contestants here are representing the beautiful flowers that cover the earth, which is the essence of this competition. So, um, we have a second person. Hello, my name is Fadima Taruna. I am the flower. All right. My name is Kishma Animina, and I am Iris. Okay. My name is Itia Beatrice Idushima, and I am the flower. All right. My name is Opaya Misha Girl, and I'm the flower. All right. My name is Isabella Ojiodu, and I am Carnation. Oh, great. My name is Mira Bala, and I am Bovadia. All right. My name is Ademozi Tiyomoboiwa, and I'm Holly. Great. My name is John Sinidera, and I'm Galax. My name is Precious Marcus, and I'm Lotus Flower. My name is Amara Chimobiela, and I'm Fuchsia. Okay. My name is Ola Tomi Kolaoli, and I am Buttercup. Buttercup. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Biboi Kiritesi, and I am Sage. All right. My name is Owakwe Amarachi, and I'm Juniper. Okay. My name is Udo Joy, and I'm Mulberry. Okay. My name is Beth Bennett, and I'm Bluebell. Oh, great. My name is Ezine Okwasa. I am Hibiscus. Hibiscus flower. Nice one. My <laughs> name is Mary Miller, and I'm Olive. Okay. My name is Galen Suffer, and I'm Daffodil. All right. My name is Vivian Ogaro, and I am Rose. Oh, beautiful Rose. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you? My name is Victoria Mwafo, and I'm Sunflower. Okay. My name is Damola Akisaye, and I am Lavender. All My right. My name is Udezwe Uchenna, and I'm Daisy. And there we have all of them, 23 in number, and I'm the 24th. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tekla Wilkie, and I'm the Roko. <laughs> 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 and the rocker tree here. Regardless of all the heels they're wearing, don't mind them, or they're not as tall as they look here. <laughs> they're not taller than me. Are you guys really? taller than me? <laughs> we definitely <laughs> are. Are you guys taller than me? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Some because of, of your heels. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, at this juncture, we'll take a quick break and we'll have the first 11 contestants, and um, that way we'll have more time to bond. Saturday night, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Now we are back and we have 11 contestants of the Miss Earth 2013 beauty pageantry. We also have the spokesperson, Tommy. She's one of the contestants, but she'll be doing more of the talking on the program tonight. So she's a permanent guest on the program. Yeah, so Tommy, what's Miss Earth for status? Miss Earth is a, is a pageant for young ladies across the world. The edition in Nigeria is called Miss Earth Nigeria. It's to empower young women to be more, more observant about their environment and to be conservative as well. That's what Miss Earth is about. Hmm. So what has really informed this, um, what has informed this initiative? Can you rephrase that please? Should, should I say it in Igbo? Or <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Just in clear terms, please. <laughs> what has informed this beauty pageant? Um, oh, okay. It's because the environment, as we see it, is going through a lot of damage, um, a lot of harm, and we can feel it most of the time. When there's there's heat this time, there's cold this other time, and as a result of this, this initiative, um, this initiative is to inform the world about ways we can prevent such situations from getting worse. As it is now, it's in a bad state. But from getting worse, that's what this initiative is for. All right, and I uh, can see that uh, we have um, different flowers. Yes. You could have chosen trees. Why flowers? Uh, flowers because flowers beautify our environment, one. And as well, like trees, flowers also provide um, oxygen into the environment. They intake, they take um, in the carbon dioxide that we breathe out, and they provide oxygen for us. And because they're beautiful, and so are we, that's why there's flowers this year. When you say we, did you include me? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> why, they, why they pause? Uh, no. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Now um, we have um, twenty-three contestants. Yes. How did they? How did you guys come up with this uh, number? Uh, we had there were auditions in three different areas in Nigeria. There was one in Port Harcourt, there was one in Abuja, and there was one in Lagos State. 
and from these um, from the people that auditioned for this, we wrote an essay. We had different categories, and we and they came up with twenty three. So let me pause here for a moment, and uh, we you. have the Oli there. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos State. Lagos State, and um, you? From Benue State. You're Benue, and where are you from? I'm from Kaduna State. Kaduna State, and uh, you? I'm from Ondo State. Ondo State, you? I'm from Bayelsa State. Bayelsa. I'm from River State. I'm from Ogun State. Ogun State. I'm from Lagos State. Lagos. I'm from Abia State. Abia. I'm from Lagos State. Lagos. I'm from Benue State. Benue. I'm from Delta State. Delta State. So we have all, most of the states represented here. Yes. yes. That's what it means. Yes. So your entries came from different, yes. the different geopolitical zones yes. of yes. Nigeria. Yes. That's yes. a beautiful world. That's a beautiful world. Now, um, for Oli, what do you, what do you think? What do you think you have that will make you win? Well, I believe that um, I have what it takes because I know I'm smart and I'm also beautiful because that is the combination of what it is that they're looking for. Not only someone that is just beautiful but also has brains as well all right and um bellflower okay i also think i'm very beautiful and intelligent hmm. well i think that uh, i have a role to play to use my beauty for a cause that is the slogan of the of the miss ed pageant and i think i have a beauty to use for a cause yeah, I think I have beauty, not just outer beauty, but beauty that radiates for, from inside. And I also have passion from the, for the environment. Thank you. I believe that I'm equally beautiful and smart, but in this particular pageant, I believe that my ideas are unique. Thank you. I believe I'm actually very beautiful and smart, but I also am very, very, very environmentally conscious. Uh, first of all, um, this Pageant Don't give us a long story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> First of all, it's it's a way of empowering young women across the nation to be conscious about the environment and to empower them that you cannot just you can also be smart as well as beautiful, not just beauty. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. doesn't start with just beauty. So. Yeah. That's a good one. And then um, you? I'm in this pageant not just because I'm beautiful and I have brains. I'm in this pageant because I have a passion for the earth. It's an eco-friendly pageant, so I want to and enlighten people about the things happening on earth and make the earth a better place to live. Yeah. All right. Okay, apart from being beautiful, intelligent, or smart, I also have a very strong passion for the environment and it has always been my dream to be an advocate for the environment. I am environmental conscious and I want to use the idea that I have to educate people out there about the environment. Thank you. What about you? What I actually have for this pageant I don't really have anything other than God. And, and with that, I know that the pageant is all about preserving our Mother Earth. And then I have to, like, <clears throat> I, love, um, I love reusing and reducing and recycling things. So I believe with that, I could be able to educate and motivate other young ladies to aid preserve our mother earth through that. What about you? I am in this pageant not just for the beauty or intelligence. I'm also here to profess solution because the information of climate change is widespread and it's not a point pushing the effect, it's not a point pushing the problem, it's a point pushing the solution. So I'm here to prefer a solution to the environmental problems we're encountering in our society today. Thank you. All right, in one sentence each, I wanna, I'm going to ask you this question. Now, yes, we all agree we are having issues with the environment. Yeah. Once you become the queen, what exactly will you be projecting? What exactly would you be selling? Well, what are you bringing to the fore? If I were to be crowned the queen of Miss Earth Beauty pageant, what I'll be bringing so to the people is um, having um, summits whereby I'll be and, and educating people about the environment. Okay, if I'm crowned the queen, I would hold forums, meetings that would encourage people on about the environment and also ways that they should avoid things that affect their environment. Next. If I am queen, I will start an awareness campaign starting from my community. 
okay? If I am queen, I'll start with youth enlightenment because we youth, we are the future of tomorrow. Encourage afforestation and tell the youth about the issues and the things that cause the climate change. And also encourage charity because it is love. Thank you. Great one. I'm very passionate about sustainable development and I believe that if more persons are aware of the best ways to improve the earth, that earth will be a better place for the future generation. Thank you. Okay. If I'm the queen, I'll use my crown as a platform to reach out to young people, to enlighten them on how to promote and protect Mother Earth. Okay. And um, when I am queen, um, I'll use my confidence and to empower the youth because especially we ladies because um, we are the future of tomorrow and it's important to take care of our environment thank you you know one thing I noticed about uh, one thing I observed about your answer was that uh, you're so confident when I become the queen you is if I become the queen you're not very sure when I become the queen is different from if I become the queen so you have to assume that confidence you got to pay me for this tip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> when I become Miss Earth Nigeria 2013, I would participate in the ongoing campaign of awareness about the things going on on the earth. I would go to schools, low communities where they don't have access to information, and I will campaign with them and tell them how, not just campaigning with them, but also informing them of how to make the earth a better place to live in. All right. Okay. I believe it's all about awareness and taking action, taking a stand. So if I was made queen, I would go a long way to empower people and educate them about the advantages of keeping our earth safe. And also not just about environmental issues, other issues like child marriage, water supply and the likes. All right, okay. When I'm the queen, I want to work on this year's theme, which says Year of Water Corporation. And, and I've titled the theme of my campaign to be pick a community and dig a borehole because as we know that most communities of these days do not have access to drinkable water and I want to involve not just the government because in time memoria the government have been in place but they've not been functioning as we expect. Did you do jam on this Miss S? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. And you? When I become Miss Ed, okay, Nigeria 2013, I will initiate a back to school on this theme on this year's theme, Water Corporation, because I've come to realize where I'm from, I've come to realize that our people there are ignorant about the reuse of water. They just use water and just throw it away without, without even thinking twice of how I could use this in a different manner. So I think that would be the, what I would work on. All right. When I become queen, my first project is going to be getting myself involved in what I am preaching and what I am representing as a queen. As an ambassador, I'm going to get myself involved with all forms of life, fisheries, arboreal, terrestrial animals, and the plants too. And for the places that don't have access to information, we'll, I'll get myself there and make sure I show them the way with my hands. And for the places that have access to information, I'll have it aired and make sure that it is pushed, it is campaigned, it is made very, very aware in the, in the, very, um, in the very civilized society. Thank you. Well, well done so far. Let me give you a round of applause for all you have said. You have all, you all know what you're doing. You all know what is on ground. And obviously, um, I won't be the one to decide. I will just, um, I was just acting the judge here, asking you <laughs> questions, preparing you for yes, the you audience. <laughs> preparing you for the audience. So viewers are watching, and um, whatever you have told them, it's what you have projected of yourself. Yes. Apart from having <clears throat> the environmental cons consciousness. Anything else uh, Miss Earth Beauty um, pageantry is looking for? Um, um, I think it has to do with youth empowerment, because... Um, because as youths, many people, many of us do not go into um, creative things and it brings out the creativity in you. For instance, one of our talent shows or one of the <laughs> shows we'll be having in the house or during this competition is called the Eco-Friendly uh, eco show where we'll be designing eco-friendly clothing 
and we would have to walk the runway in them. So things from recyclable materials, reusable ma materials, to reduce the amount of things that we consume in the world. Yes. So basically, you have to be aware as well of the environment. Okay, the viewers are watching and they'll be the judge eventually. So we'll pause here for a moment and we'll bring the other 11 contestants on Saturday night. Please stay tuned. Now you're back. We have the 11 finalists of this interview. I didn't say, when I say finalists, I didn't mean you're back at the finalists. So don't, <laughs> don't get it twisted. We have the 11 finalists on the program. We've had the first set and now we have the last set of uh, the Miss Earth 2013 contestants here. Like I said earlier, we have Tommy as a permanent spokesperson on the program. That doesn't Thank make you. her the winner. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Now, so let's start from uh, Daisy. I want to ask you this question. As a contestant, what are you bringing on board? What are you bringing on? Well, I will put in my best and uh, also it's actually a big family. We're involved in a lot of things. So it's about the environment which we live on, we live in. And then we have to educate people about, so many people are ignorant about the environment. So we actually going to educate the people about the environment and the things they should do. And I believe that the, the solution to the problem we have is love. Next. <laughs> okay. Apart from creating awareness for the environment and educating the people to be environmentally conscious, I would like to use this platform to educate the youth on agriculture and provide job opportunities for them because I noticed the Nigerian youth is away from agriculture. I mean Nigeria has 20 million hectares of arable land that if properly explored we can feed the whole of West Africa conveniently. Good one. Yeah. All right next. Uh, I'm not only in this pageant but as a contestant but I'm using this as a platform in contributing to the conservation and preservation of Mother Earth, since Miss Earth is all about the preservation and protection of Mother Earth. I want to help in building this world and making it a better place for you and I. Thank you. All right, and you? If I become the queen, I'm going to use this opportunity to change a lot of things I'll be wanting to change in your life. Like one of my environmental advocacy is um, fresh air and water. Because I notice in um, most communities, most of the rural communities, the waters they use, they are mostly polluted, which gives them a lot of diseases like uh, diarrhea and cholera. And the air is being polluted by some unnecessary dumpings, which is being born, and this affects a lot of people. If I happen to be the queen, I think I'm going to really work hand in hand with the uh, executive to really achieve my aim. Apart from sensitizing the people to, uh, to be environmental conscious, my advocacy is basically on tree planting and when you plant trees and then they grow, they, pre they help purify the air and make it cleaner for us to breathe. Thank you. All right, <coughs> Rose. When I become the queen, I plan on going on a sensitization program and um, on to educate the people on water pollution because the rural areas mostly lack good potable water to drink. So I plan on digging bottles and working with relevant authorities to achieve that goal. Thank you. All right. When I am queen, I will definitely promote the policy, um, enforce and ensure that laws are put in place. I intend to put um, cl a climate change policy in the constitution because it's exactly lacking in every way. The constitution deserves to be enforced and I'll make sure that the laws are promoted. Well, when I become a queen, I would make sure that I would open a program where everyone will be going for programs about environmental issues and make sure that adults and children know an important how environment is an important and everybody should know that environment and plants and flowers contribute and important to a healthy lifestyle. When I become the queen, I would promote environmental knowledge. Nigeria being a third world country, I think what we need is education. If we are educated, we will know how to conserve our resources and how to protect and preserve the earth better. Like we say, education is the key. Thank you. When I become queen, just as we all know, earth is in a critical condition. 
There are lots of things, lots of environmental problems today, like soil degradation, deforestation, water and air pollution, desertification, and so on. And as the year's theme go, year of water cooperation, I would like the whole world, all the sundry, to know that water cooperation and sanitization among its users is the best. And as we all know, health is wealth. I would like to promote that. Thank you very much. Well, if you don't win, at least you become a professor in environmental. <laughs> That's good. So you? When I become queen, I actually plan on going in line with the year's theme, which is Year of Water Cooperation. I would like to I'll raise awareness on the importance, benefits, and challenges of water cooperation. I will spark concrete and innovative action towards water cooperation. I will foster partnerships and dialogue with bodies and institutions that can help me achieve these goals. Thank you. They have all expressed what they intend to do if they become queen. Now to Tommy again, yes, when please. is the event coming up? The event is coming up on Sunday 22nd of September 2013 at the Oriental Hotel in Lekki. Yes, before you ask. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so, so who are we expecting? We're expecting uh, Genevieve Naji, Boris Kojo, we're expecting Kali Red and also Amber Rose. All right, so give us a picture of what uh, the event will be all about. Give us a picture. I mean, for those who will not be there personally or physically. We want them to be there. <laughs> Can you host the whole of Nigeria? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> On whose account? <laughs> Are you a salary and I? <laughs> so please don't put your management in debt. <laughs> Now tell us, for those who would not be physically there, what are we expecting? What, what are you guys planning out? What are the things you have put in place to make sure the 2013 Miss Earth um, beauty pageant is a success? Okay, firstly, we would have um, dance shows and choreography by us, the contestants. Secondly, we would be, um, talk, we'll be giving you more information about the Earth, the situation at hand, how, how, um, sorry. We'll be giving you more information about the earth, how the position we are in right now, especially Nigeria, and also expect it to be fun because um, that you can't for Nigerians you have to mix fun and business together to all make right. it all level. Music so, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry? Music music Oh yes, yeah. there will be musical by performances Atos. by the band yeah. Timi Dakolo and many more as well. And on that note, we want to bring the other, the, the uh, remaining contestants. Let's just wrap the show. All right, there you have them. 23 contestants of the 2013 Miss Earth Beauty pageantry. Well, they have all spoken, you've heard them, and it's up to you to make up your mind and decide who the cap fits. Yes, who the crown fits. Yes, not the cap, <laughs> who the crown fits. Uh, on that note, we want to say thank you so much for staying tuned to this week's edition of Saturday Night. Until next week, I would always say be kind to one another. Good night. Good night. Good night.